Could that supplement you're taking for thicker hair and stronger nails cause serious health conditions to be misdiagnosed or worse, missed altogether? Biotin, you all probably heard of it, a B vitamin that's commonly found in multi and prenatal vitamins, but now it's been trending as a solo supplement for its touted beauty benefits. As an example here, hair, skin, and nails. High levels of biotin, here's the issue we're now learning can interfere with critical blood test results. Recently re received an alert on this because a lot of these labs are labs that would potentially diagnose life-threatening conditions. So we're talking about issues potentially in the ER. You're going in, you could be suffering from things like heart failure, et cetera, and it would mask the results. The Institute of Medicine, get this, recommends 30 micrograms a day for adults, 30 micrograms. A lot of these supplements that promote the hair, skin, and nail benefits, 800 plus times that amount. So these, at these levels, these super concentrated levels, that's where you're running into trouble with lab uh, inaccuracies. And we're talking about everything from falsely decrease, something known as BMP, troponins. These can be produced when your heart is either in heart failure or you're having a heart attack. And so if it masks that, you could theoretically be having heart failure, but oh, labs look great, okay. And, and, and it's not like everyone's gonna say, well, it's well, gotta be the bias. An example of a good thing in too high a dose becomes a bad thing, that you know your body doesn't need that large amount. And this is a big ticket item now, strong nails, strong Well, it can mask yeah. pregnancy. Yeah. Falsely yeah. decreased beta HCG, right. So your pregnancy test might be negative when you are in fact pregnant. Wow, that's- You can have anemia, a it can mask one. that. Yeah. It can actually falsely diagnose too high levels of thyroid hormone. So, you know, the takeaway here is we were asking around and a lot of people yes. here working on the lot take this supplement. A lot of my friends. And, you know, I, I think it's just, you gotta be aware. And, and if you're gonna take a supplement, 800 times the recommended dose may not be what you wanna shoot for. So just be aware because, hey, making sure you have enough, fine. Incidentally, one cup of oats has 31 micrograms. One half cup of almonds, 30 micrograms. That's, that's your recommended daily amount. That's yeah. all you need. That's, yeah. that's all you need. And extrapolate this to other supplements. So we're talking about biotin, but we may be talking about another supplement next week and yep. we find that there's something going on there. So just take that into consideration and chat with your healthcare provider. Supplements. Ooh, so scary.